seven lakh active podcasts and more than 29 million podcasts being published. People are there, those who are marketers or those who want to publish the search. It is a great platform. Traffic is there and you have to just promote yourself. So why podcast? Few more stats to support my statement. You all might have seen smart speakers. Alexa, Siri, Cortina. How many of you have said, okay Google, play my favorite song? So, smart speakers are rising. Around 200 million speakers were sold till uh, the will, will be sold till the end of 2019. Voice command stats has also raised. It has raised by 27% in the quarter of 2018. One more reason why podcast is gaining popularity is multitasking. It is easy to synchronize podcast with any other experience. Like in our uh, daily routine, we are always having a complaint that I have a limited time. Koi, uh, sorry, if some relatives ask you to visit, your friend ask you to come, you say, friend, I don't have that much of time. So those skills which can be linked together, they are gaining popularity. With the podcast, it is another thing that you can synchronize it with other things. Let's say you are traveling, you can listen podcast. Videos demand attention. So it is not possible to uh, have a video in the Mumbai local or let's say while cooking or doing other office stuff. But just plug in your uh, earbuds and you are ready to go with the podcast listening. That's why podcasts are also increasing. And the fourth, the best reason is user intent over here is very high. Those who are interested in podcasts, they have specifically come to your podcast channel to listen about the topic you are hosting the show. That's why podcasting is becoming popular day by day. By now you might have, you all have known what podcast is, why is it necessary? Now we will come how to do podcast with the WordPress. With the WordPress, there are four options with which you can go forward. First one is audio blog. As we all know, now button blog is our uh, inbuilt feature. Button blog supports audio files. So you can just drag your audio clip to the audio blog and your podcast is ready to be hosted in your WordPress website. Second version is case embedding. If you are a coder, you want to code it in your website, you can embed the code and put it on your WordPress site. It can be done by RSS feed. The question arises where you will get the RSS feed. RSS feed will be on the third party platform, let's say Anchor or any other, Spotify or any other. Why I am focusing to host your podcast on uh, third party platform is because audio files take a lot of space and if you are Going on with shared hosting, it will take your space, it will take your resources. So better host your <coughs> podcast on another platform and link it with the RSS feed. Third option is video press. Through video press, you can share your audio files and video files in the WordPress. And the last option is plugins. So plugins are uh, like Blueberry, Easy Podcasting, Libsyn. There are many. Uh, plugins available to host podcast with the WordPress site. So these are the four options with which you can carry on your podcasting with WordPress. So how to start it from the scratch? This is a simple procedure and if you follow this procedure, within five minutes you will be able to host your own podcast. Step one, go to anchor.fm and sign up. Second, Record your live audio of podcast or upload your audio files. Then create a show. You will have to put some details of the show like description of the show, what it is all about, the season of the show, episode number. You have to put a title, a description, put a, a nice uh, visual clip and publish it. And the best part is distribution is automatic. I would like to uh, add on over here that Spotify has acquired Anchor just three months before. So as soon as you publish your podcast on Anchor, within few minutes it is available in Spotify.
25 and within a, a span of one month it is available on all major platforms including Google Podcast and iTunes as well. So this is the procedure with which we can proceed further and now yes. come. Yes. Can you please tell uh, yes. sign up which website is it? Now I would request Mr. Yogesh sir from uh, Bangalore Purpose Community to come on a stage and uh, be our host for the podcast. Good morning, good morning. So friends, we are going live. We will be doing a recording and we will be publishing it in on anchor. So how we can proceed with the live podcast? Mr. Yogesh is with us. I will tell you the exact procedure how we can do the podcast, record it and upload it in answer and we are ready to go on the air. So, good morning sir. It's our pleasure to have you on our show. Can you please brief a little bit about yourself to our listeners? Uh, good morning, Gaurav. And good morning to everybody here. Um, Kochi is my favorite podcast. I love uh, coming to Kochi. Um, that uh, all three editions of uh, WordCamp was 17, 18, and very happy to be here for the 19th. Uh, I'm from Bangalore, and I'm a member of the Bangalore WordPress community. And uh, just like everyone here, I love WordPress. So, great, yes. It was a nice introduction, and now we will proceed with our Q&A session. So, our first question is, what is WordCamp? WordCamp Kochi, they wrote a very nice uh, introduction to WordCamp. WordCamp is an informal uh, gathering of uh, WordPress enthusiasts. Everybody doesn't have to be a developer. You can be contributor to WordPress in any capacity, or user, or developer, or anybody related to WordPress. To come here, celebrate WordPress, exchange knowledge, and make connections. Okay. So, we will move forward to our another question. What are the benefits of attending the WordCamp? Yes, attending WordCamp, uh, as, I, as you can see, I have come all the way from Bangalore here. Uh, Gauru has come from Lucknow and uh, friends here, they have come from uh, Mumbai and Nagpur and different places. The, 
benefit of attending a word camp is uh, number one, you are expanding your knowledge, you are listening to uh, new speakers, you are learning something, you are getting introduced to a new topic which you might have been or might not have been exposed to before. Number two, you are meeting friends which you don't meet regularly. Number three, you are making new friends. And number four, the connections can benefit. Like uh, many companies, they are looking for WordPress developers or content writers or designers. And uh, these developers, content writers, designers can get a job with a new company. So there are many, many, many more benefits of attending a WordCamp. Great. And with this, uh, Sandhu, I have a question. What is the scope of entry or region level WordCamp? Yes, they are uh, about to witness our first word uh, camp this year. Yes. Okay. Um, country level word camps. Uh, <coughs> so there is a, there is something that uh, happens in word camp US, and uh, there is a word camp Europe, and we will soon have word camp Asia. So, I my personal opinion is country wide word camps would be really very efficient because that will bring all the WordPress enthusiasts, all the WordCamp of a certain country, certain region together. And there will be new connections made, lot of knowledge exchange, the community will become stronger, and uh, there will be a lot of outsiders, outside visitors. People from outside will come, and many people from outside India, they are looking to have some connections, some with the local developers or local agencies. So it would be a very good, uh, very good platform for launching new businesses, launching new agencies, getting new business from uh, uh, the people who are uh, looking into the Indian uh, talent market. So the country level world camp, it's a very, very good, I would make a strong case and uh, I hope people on my left are listening to that uh, very strong case that uh, there should be. What can we be happy to? J W P. J W P. So uh, it was a great explanation by you, okay, sir. I hope our listeners will be uh, will get benefited with that. And with this, I come to the uh, last question of our question I have. Sir, uh, how can we contribute to this WordPress community and your and your your suggestions to the listeners? Now. Uh, Actually speaking, Gaurav uh, sir, you can, you can have one uh, half an hour podcast about contributing yeah, to the WordPress community, but, yeah, what what community. Yeah. but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make it very brief. I'll make it uh, very brief. And, uh, there are many ways of contributing to WordPress community. You can translate WordPress into your uh, mother tongue. That's one of the most important things that uh, I see. Localization and internationalization of the world. WordPress is very important. You can, uh, if you are very good, if you like to code, you can code uh, WordPress. You can promote WordPress. You can tell your friends about WordPress. Tell uh, college students about WordPress. Teach somebody how to use WordPress. Help somebody start a blog with WordPress. These are practical steps you can take in your daily life. And you can, of course, develop a theme. You can develop some plugins. You, you want some kind of a new functionality on WordPress and you see it's not available anywhere, make it happen. Okay? Be the, be the plugin developer that you would like to see in uh, WordPress community, in uh, Plato Spirit or followed by Mahatma Gandhi. Be the change in the world that you would like to see. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank, thanks a lot for your time and discussion. You can also host a podcast where you will select a random topic and explain on all of your own or you can have panel discussion of let's say four or five people it's all about you and your show and with this my slides also come to an end we have any questions So, uh, you asked which microphone to use for 
podcast in here. Starting with the low budget, you can use Boya mics and if you are not having any budget for content, you can use Samsung or Yeti mics. I'm um, a bit confused because usually there is a thing that comes for a lamb and a omnidirectional uh, short gun. Could you just help me out with that? Definitely we can um, talk offline and we will help you out. Yeah. Uh-huh.